Hey everyone, how's it going? So this is my follow-up video. Um, you'll have to excuse the hat, obviously lockdown too. I haven't had the chance to get my hair done in a while. So we are like the first lockdown. I was rocking the hat quite a bit and the hat has made a comeback, uh, which is a real sign of the times, right? Um, so the first video we covered uh, how to apply to a company like job boards to go on the best way to approach them um, the next video was all about the art of the follow-up like how many times you check into a company um, just to see how your applications going keep an eye on them first stage interview how to nail that um, so then let's get on to the next part of hopefully nailing yourself uh, a job um, so if you're invited in for a second stage interview, congratulations. This is where it starts to get quite exciting. So you've really impressed them. They can see potential. You've shared your salary expectations in the interview. That's okay with them. They've set you a design task possibly. Now, this is your chance to shine. If you've been set a design task, um, I always advise people just to go for it. Like, really tackle the brief i guess it's individual preference but in an ideal world if you really want this job you don't want anything to be sent to this agency that you are not so proud of because not only are you presenting this this brief or this bit of work to them they're going to be thinking what were they going to send to our clients externally as a reflection on us um so design briefs if you set those are a really good way to flex your muscles show your skills and go for it um now some designers think oh i don't want to create work for free why should i have to do this for a design task see it as an opportunity to challenge yourself um this could be a project that you could actually put in your portfolio as well if it's for an interesting brand in the future unless they get you to sign something that says that you can't and just see it as an opportunity you know you're a creative get stuck into this go for it um and try and outshine the competition you know if you can come up with a couple of options uh this just demonstrates to them how much you really want this job so um that would be my advice to anyone that is set a design task if you've got any questions there's really not so much you know a, a silly question does that exist not necessarily if you are a bit confused about something and you want some clarification that's going to make your design work stronger then just ask the question and to make sure you're as prepared as possible with all the knowledge that you need to tackle that task so it's gone well they deliver you an offer oh another before that actually and this all relates to job offers um try to nail as many interviews as you can try to get as many job offers as you can now it is a hard market of course like at this moment in time it's highly unlikely you're going to get multiple offers but in the future one thing that really plays in your favor is if you give every interview a hundred percent and you go for it because you're in a much stronger position to negotiate if you have multiple offers from different companies and if certain agencies know that your competitor their competitors sorry are interested in inviting them back in for another interview then there's going to create this whole desire and urgency around you it's just the way that this is the psychology of how humans work so yeah do your best give a hundred percent to every interview that you can um, but then don't lead companies on at the same time if you're really not interested in that company it's better to be upfront and save people's time but um, if you decide you're going to go for it really go for it as, as i said if you do get multiple offers from different companies you are a little bit more in the driving seat in regards to having a bit of wiggle room to so say for instance company a offered you 30k and company b offer you 35 there's a few questions you need to ask yourself now as a designer and as a creative it's highly unlikely that you're just in it purely for the money you might be and that's totally fine as well but 
when you're presenting an offer, there's a couple of things to think about. Number one, job title. Is it important to you that you're given a higher title? Another thing to consider that if you're going from a smaller boutique agency where you're a senior designer there, chances are if you're going for one of the, the much bigger agencies with more of a hierarchy and a structure, you could possibly be a middleweight within their structure. Be mindful of that because I have so, over the years so many designers that have been a senior in their smaller boutique agency are lower level somewhere else but it's not a step back and this is something really important that you need to get your head around in regards to pivoting and maneuvering and working your way up in a variety of agencies okay it's never a step back it's always a way forward and if you are working for a larger agency on bigger accounts with more variety and a faster pace that's only going to grow you as a creative so that's something you really need to think of um, so yeah decide a figure in your head now in the first stage interview you need to know what that salary is there's no point you getting an offer and then changing your mind because they've actually carried you through the entire process thinking there's a certain salary you want and then if you then ask for a much more inflated number it's not going to go down too well okay but saying that if you've got company a offers 30 company b offers 35 you said at the at the beginning you only wanted 30 but you've been offered more find out if there's wiggle room but also the other factors about creativity you do have to pick you know unless you're lucky and in an ideal scenario you are going to get the creative work of your life the best accounts that you'll be given from day one I mean, again, there's a hierarchy in a system and agency where sometimes you have to earn those accounts. Um, things like holiday as well. Working from home. Big discussion topic right now, especially with the pandemic and the fact that more of us have had the opportunity to work from home. That is something you want to be asking companies as well. And days holiday. So really ask how many days annual leave that you get and um, so the average is normally about 20 days and then they close for christmas and new year and you get all the bank holidays or what a lot of companies do is they'll offer 25 days but then you have to use those days for christmas and new year if a company is offering 20 days holiday and you have to use that to book off christmas and new year it's not a sign of a great company uh, American companies tend to um, give less holiday allowance actually compared to UK or Europe European agencies. So that's something to be mindful of. Um, don't be scared to see if there's wiggle room with an offer and a negotiation because the worst thing they can say is no. I have never known an agency in all my years of recruitment pull an offer because someone has just made some light suggestions of a couple of things. If anything, it shows you're a bit savvy and, and you're, you're exploring what you could have. And it's also about commitment. You know, just say to the agency, I want to stay with you and, and learn and grow and develop. So you're almost setting uh, what kind of like benefits you'd want within reason. It might be that HR says, look, these salaries have to be in line with X, Y, and Z. The holiday needs to be in line with X, Y, and Z. The, the job titles are because we've got these people in place. And keep it super friendly and chatty and open. Don't get defensive. Don't get anyone's backs up. And you can have a really good communication on the offer. And um, good luck. Really, I hope that obviously I'm out of the recruitment game at the moment because I'm absolutely slammed with so many other things I'm running, like a freelance course I've got coming up. But some of you can join as well and some brand new guides coming out um, and some other bits and pieces I'm working on that I cannot wait to tell you all about. So take care, everyone. I hope this has been helpful and I'll have some updates for you soon.